What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana. So to pick up where we left off, uh, we are chasing down one of the last remaining Persian stacks in Persia. So we're actually uh, in a position where lots of our armies are actually advancing up through Persia to get to the front line. But first we must defeat this battle, but defeat this army in battle. I think we do have another army down here ready to, ready to follow up, if needs be. Um, but let's destroy this force. So my uh, my Blitzkrieg, Blitzkrieg through Persia hasn't really gone to plan, chiefly because we got held up trying to push on Azerbaijan. Um, but nevertheless, at least we have a reasonable amount of forces built up near Baghdad to allow us to continue pushing. There isn't. We haven't got any uh, issues around stalling the advance we do have two armies marching on to uh, Damascus okay so let's set up our guns let's set up our infantry in the center this is a lovely flat battlefield map there we go Lovely stuff. And then we've got howitzers dropping down a lovely quick climb. Cavalry on either flank. General in the centre. Bada bing, bada boom. So let's pick our artillery first. these guys select quick climb hopefully before they fired I don't think we did some of them we did oh that was an excellent hit yeah, I feel artillery just opening up because they have no artillery so these guys are going to aim at the camel mercenaries my howitzers are going to load and fire against these units marching the, the very, very much the wrong direction. Hello, General's bodyguard. Advancing up to our lines. Oh, yeah. Oh, not from a bad hit. But maybe one of the follow up shots from these guys? Nope. General's bodyguard is going to get shot down by the men of the 116th or the 106th. By a... <laughs> yeah, no, they've had enough of that. Camels are coming in now. A lovely quick climb shot would have, would be lovely right about now. I mean, if you want to charge my camels in, they are welcome. There we go. Those are the sort of shots you want to see coming in. Once you've softened the map, I might just advance. Charge in my heavies. You guys stop firing. My heavy cavalry is going to deal with these guys. You guys are going to form square. I want to try and make... that unit route try lure anyone that tries to pursue us into square so I can bring my heavy cavalry back around to try hit actually let's wait and see where they where they go can you always charge those camel nomads because they're going to make it around the square 
106 is going to absorb up and do loads of damage to a lot of these camels. I mean, if, until these guys... Yeah, there we go. Finally, they've decided they're going to uh, push. Camels are going down thick and fast, although these guys say they're winning slightly, but I think that's probably from the initial volley they fired charging in. Let's get these guys ready to switch to canister shot. So you guys reload and fire, although you might fire into my Cursier unit. charge those camel gunners you guys get out of square form line against the existing enemy let's get two howitzers working on that position behind the lines yeah, let's get my general working his way around here. They've decided to actually join the fight because they realise they can't. Ooh, how are you? Okay, right. I was going to say, how are you losing against camel gunners? But looks like it might only be a temporary thing. These gunners here. Round shot. Engage the Kizilbashi Musketeers there. You guys get, that, get out of dodge. Reinforcements coming in behind the lines. Hmm, that's going to be an interesting combat to watch. So the Desert Warriors, hopefully, they didn't kick around for very long. My uh, Curiosier is going to get some support from the 106 once we've pushed away the 74th. Pivot the line so they can engage into the flank of the camel gunners. The Crossiers look like they are going to win. But granted, they're not going to be that strong. Let's watch. So now you're doing good work there. the lev you're charging so just blow through the gap go straight through the, the those chaps charge into the side of these fellaheen and then start to chase down some of these guys Native lances. Very well. Let's 
so my center push up there we go now these lancers have stopped and they're in actual sword fighty combat they are likely to find themselves in trouble charge up the left flank yeah I got my general which is which is natural um, to be honest there wasn't really a whole lot that could be done to help out okay, don't chase after them now chase down the 36th come on you man you can go to general's bodyguard Oh, the lever you're pushing in. I'm sure the grenadiers have guard mode on, so don't want them chasing. Uh, oh, volley. Oh, I hate it when you get accidentally click and drag on some uh, units. Yeah, this heavy cavalry is going to struggle to do too much. Good. All my howitzers hit. That too fangy. All my field artillery engage that water. If they're going to engage us with musket fire, then they're going to kill a lot of their own guys. There we go. General's been killed. Shaken, we start to have the high ground. Yeah, they are firing, but they are going to kill more of their men. Don't worry, just charge straight down into that unit of water. Let's turn off the artillery. My artillery, my uh, oh, obviously, there's a Kizilbashi unit that's came back come on mon general I mean there we go let's speed up time because right fundamentally it's just yeah, see, they didn't even get into combat. Damn right we're going to continue. Speed up time. Just get out as, as many of them as you can. Ideally, we would take out some units completely, but I fear that's going to be a challenge. So, just try and inflict as much damage as possible. So that on the map any follow-up um, auto resolves can be done easier. General. Keep right clicking. Uh, you chase down those levy, but you'll never get there in time. You might get there in time, I don't know. They actually are. So sometimes if you right click, they'll, some of them will stop to fight and then they die instantly. So that's quite good for if we're trying to clear out an enemy before they get to the line. Chomp. Nice. That's pretty good. So we lost the general, sadly. That unit to the hey. rear is destroyed. Forward. Let's replenish our army. Let's pick up a new general. Nicolas Charles Ninon. Take ready. You Destroy can probably auto-resolve that. Yeah. Victory. Although they've been, just been pushed north, which isn't Forward. quite the result we wanted. But now these armies can push up. 
I mean, they can't raid anything. They have to come all the way up here because they've got the, this river. So the Ottomans here, I'm waiting. I want to see if I can get them to cross. <laughs> to walk within range of... To move within range of this guy to trigger a river battle. You are replenishing, but I want you to march on. Well, really, I want you to march. It'll take longer, but I want them to go over across the desert. But I suppose not. I suppose it's best to keep these two armies together. You're a new army being recruited from Baghdad. So let's try pick up some. I don't want carabiners. No, that's eleven turns to get over here. It's not fusiliers. I don't want fusiliers. Um, looks like it's probably going to be. <laughs> Or colonial line, a bit boring, but that's what we've got to do. Sir. So you're replenishing, and you've got this Sir. force moving up to support, so I may as well wait. But this force was going to go hit Farouk bin Yakub. So let's go take him out. But then, as we push up into Ottoman territory, we're going to be bringing in an extra handful of armies, as well as we got those two armies doing a long, uh, a long flanking run to the rear of Sweden through uncharted territory. So it'll take them a few turns to get there because movement, movement in that part of the world is pretty, pretty poor. Um, just put our gun line there. Sight these men here, sight some infantry and the guns to provide a bit more support for our artillery. Position a howitzer line. Lights on the left, heavies on the right, general in the center. See. Okay, you guys switch to round shot and you aim at these camel nomads. These guys are all gonna hit these camels. Switch to quick climb and aim at these camel nomads. They're directly upset they've been hit by artillery fire. Push up the right flank heavies as well. If you can reload before they get to you, that would be useful. Because that would <laughs> knock them down in half before they even got to the lines. Look at those devils. But to be careful on the left because colonial cavalry is vulnerable to, to camels. I do want the one unit of howitzers to keep hitting that unit of camels. Fortunately these guys are camel gunners so they should hunker down and try and engage in a skirmish battle. These are charging but their quick lines come in yeah let's clear them out oh, danger close quick line there The 
camels are looking pretty peaky. Okay, my artillery start to engage their 12 pounders. Light cavalry smash into the Feleen. Because they're already wavering. Well, they're steady now, but. No, camel nomads are there. Stay away. My heavy nomads are going to shatter this cavalry on the left. No, I told you to stay away. You fools. Run away. Run away. All my guns pick off the camel nomads. Okay, now turn around. Switch all my howitzers to round sharp because I don't know where the... I don't know where my... I'll tell you who's going to be needed next. Pick off the camel gunners. With everything we got. There's some Germans bodyguard out here, but I'm not worried about them. charge the camel gunners just in case they don't do too much mischief on our flank. They are going to be engaged by our gunners here. Let's retarget. Hit them and knock out as many camels as we can just to try to shatter them at least. There they go. Charge onto the Desert Warriors. You abandon them and hit the General's bodyguard. Bring our General into the fight. There we go. Many, many warriors falling. Artillery, ceasefire. And let's speed up time, because the only thing that's left to withstand us is the General's bodyguard. Eventually they will get worn down. A light cavalry unit is enough to do that. Especially once the General's been killed. So I'm going to get my lights to go chase down the artillery, or well, their artillery, because it is walking off the field as a gun team. So we'll take care of them. Eh, help out the heavies. I mean, these guys are definitely escaping, because look, there they are. They're spread pretty thin. Right, that's my guard cavalry. Come on, four guys left. Okay, that's you done by the looks of things, so come and get over here and help my general take out these desert warriors. When they've got a straight run, I can just right click and charge so they don't kill any of my men. There we go, between all of them they should knock out this last unit of desert warriors. Chomp. Come on, 
four, three, two, one, zero. So the Persian, that small Persian force has been annihilated. Mark. You will replenish and push up to the border. Because you do need to push up into this section of the world. You could probably move now, to be honest, although you're still recruiting, so no rush. I can repair our dock. Okay, this fleet isn't necessarily needed here anymore, so let's go to Kolachi. Let's get the steam drips, the sloop, the sloop out to Bandar Abbas. So you men pick up some second rates, and then this army will be grouped and then will be sent to towards the Med. Your humble servant. Okay, so now this infantry can leave Udaipur and move up to Georges. All being replenished. All of the the nonsense up here has been dealt with. Two more Gurkhas and send them down here. You're still fighting them, but that should be a pretty simple matter. You're holding just in case they move south. Good. Our cots almost converted. To be honest, lots of our southern regions are now starting to become predominantly Catholic because we held them for so long. So in Europe. You're recruiting. These men are holding. We've got the Austrians fancying their chances. You can fire Cologne. Go and raid Bilbao. And then dry dock at Brest. What well, dry dock? Dock at Brest. Make ready. So these men are now ready. If they wander too close, we can annihilate them in a river battle. Hanover still has to be secured. But now Sweden is on the march. And that's a scary thing. That's why we've got you marching on towards Finland. And let's get Sweden. I don't want six pounders. Those are all I can get. For the most part, it looks like that is what I can get. Because I can't get 18 pounders because I've used all them up. I can't get 24 pounder guard artillery, but I don't necessarily want guard artillery. I can't. I just can't recruit regular artillery. So six pounders it is. I might need a couple more of them to make up the deficit. Let's get some garrison guards to give them some elite infantry and a fusilier unit. Then here in Stockholm, let's do infantry first. And then add on some howitzers. Then Berlin itself, yeah, you just keep churning out infantry. To be honest to you, I might actually combine. Yeah, you are you have walls. Berlin is a bit at risk, so I might move you guys near Berlin. These cities are are very vulnerable. But that's again, that's another reason why I need to keep pushing through here. And certainly with these guys up into Astrakhan, Ufa, let open up another flank against the Swedes. I do need to just keep recruiting men everywhere. Okay, let's hit and turn and let's see what the Swedes do to us. Because the Austrians could be a real problem.
to be honest, I didn't do as much unit recruiting in Europe as I should have done. And that is that is working against us now because you can see we are being. Ooh, that's quite a good one. Let's draw in some Austrian troops in a defence of Hanover, where we have some good amounts, some good artillery and lots of infantry to hold them off, as well as this army is the one that's coming in to reinforce. So we're definitely going to do that because they've got howitzer unit, two howitzer units, two howitzers, so they'll take their time getting in. So we are going to have some charges at the walls, but we should be able to mow them down. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of some Austrian troops before the walls of Hanover. Cheers everyone.